ABC News can confirm that James Gandolfini was staying at the Hotel Etc. in central Rome when he suffered a heart attack. In fact, it was his 13-year-old son, Michael, who he was vacationing with here in Rome, who alerted the staff, who told the staff that his father wasn't feeling well. They immediately alerted the emergency services. Now, we understand that Gandolfini was alive when he was rushed to Rome's main hospital in an ambulance at 10.40 p.m. Paramedics began trying to resuscitate him in the ambulance as well as at the hospital when he arrived for a good 40 minutes after he arrived before he was pronounced dead. Now, the cause of death is not yet known. It hasn't been confirmed because an autopsy needs to take place. And according to Italian law, it has to take place at least 24 hours after the person has been pronounced dead. So it is due to take place tomorrow. We'll get a clearer picture of what happened perhaps tomorrow. But this morning, Gandolfini's body remains in Rome's main morgue. Robin. Lama, thank you. His fans, fellow actors, stunned. We're all stunned by his sudden death. They're paying tribute to the award-winning actor this morning. ABC's Chris Conley is in Los Angeles with a look back at his life. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Robin. You know, you think of James Gandolfini. He used anger when he played Tony Soprano like an artist uses a paintbrush to create one of the most iconic characters of our time on a series that changed the way we think about television. You don't want to what? You don't want to what? Through six stupendous seasons on The Sopranos, James Gandolfini took the mythic character of the mob boss and brought it into the modern age, filling Tony Soprano's complicated life with vivid, abundant emotion as he grappled with the harsh consequences of his work on those he loved. Are you in the mafia? Am I in the what? From 1999 to 2007, Gandolfini captured a man in ceaseless turmoil, ordering a hit. This guy cannot come back to tell this story. Sparring with Carmela, his wife. Raging at his rivals and associates. And what we are here for in the end is to put food on the table for our families. Reflecting with his shrink, Dr. Melfi. You know my feelings. Every day is a gift. Gandolfini found ways to give Tony Soprano an inner life, a depth of feeling, almost unparalleled in the history of American television. I have some dark moments, and I think it's, it's, um, it's useful that I, I have a place to put them. His performance became the most acclaimed of its era. Gandolfini won three Best Actor Emmys and three Screen Actors Guild Awards. Yet like Carol O'Connor as Archie Bunker on All in the Family, Gandolfini was anything but a Tony Soprano type. A New Jersey native, he was a big supporter of football at Rutgers and produced documentaries on PTSD among soldiers and about men and women who'd served in Iraq. He was great on the big screen, from the Quentin Tarantino-penned True Romance to the Coen Brothers black and white drama The Man Who Wasn't There. Someday soon, you're gonna have families of your own. And if you're lucky, you remember the little moments. But it is as Tony Soprano that his work will forever be treasured. Still a landmark portrayal, even six years after The Sopranos' last episode. That provocative, enigmatic finale, followed now by an ending that is far too real. I went ahead and ordered something for the table. James Gandolfini leaves behind a wife and two children, the younger an eight-month-old daughter.